Yo, what's good? It's your boy Deadstock DP coming to you live with another episode of Beyond Deadstock. And today we're at Soul Supremacy, meeting with a sneaker enthusiast, Scott of Soul Steals. What's going on? All right, so what got you in the collecting? Uh, so growing up, I was just pretty much playing basketball a lot. Um, Allen Iverson was kind of uh, the player I'd watch growing up, so it started off with me just wearing a lot of Iversons and stuff like that. But uh, eventually, I got into junior high, and that Jordans were the thing. So started going in, going random foot lockers, buying Jordans like Aqua Aids, Peapod Aids. Aids is the one that like really started to get me into like collecting, collecting. So um, and back then, I could just walk in and get whatever, whatever which one I wanted. Yep. How was that crossover? You don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, All right. So, <laughs> at what point did you feel like it was more of a business venture versus collecting shoes for a personal value? Um. So, growing, I grew up in Sacramento, and okay. um, so at my high school, I was pretty much the guy everyone came to for shoes because the whole little sneakerhead group in my high school, we were pretty much all the same size. So gotcha. everyone was getting shoes from me. Like they were all just getting my old shoes. We were trading shoes all the time. And then when I moved to Calistoga, which is like a small town outside of Napa, no one wore Jordans. So then I had to start going online and start selling and trading like that. And then it was it's just fun. So I just kept going, stacking it up, building, getting more and more, and then just flipping them. So I found out I was pretty good at it. Got you, got you. All right, so how did you come into collaboration with Soul, Soul Supremacy? So at first I had my own um, website called Tier Zero. Okay. Um, I would just, it was just random stuff. A lot of it I would actually buy here, like from beater boxes and stuff like that, and just resell on my website. And then um, I've always been the guy to sell shoes for really, really cheap and just sell them quick. And then one day I was just like, uh, I gotta start charging people <laughs> yeah. to, for them to even like look at my website and then it like clicked and I zoomed home like started making the website and everything and then I put it up within like 48 hours and uh, a lot of people called me Naka called me was like yo that's a fucking great idea yeah. and then Derek texted me it was like hey I really like this idea uh, this is something I'd be interested in. and then right when he texted me I was like yo Straight to so we we good, <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, we just worked it out, and he just started providing inventory, and then uh, the website just took off. So what does Soul Steals consist of? So pretty much it's a membership only website. Um, you go online, you pay the membership fee. It's nine ninety nine a week, nineteen ninety nine a month, two hundred a year, whichever one you want to pick, and then you get access to our website, which has stuff for a way cheaper price than pretty much any other shop you'll ever find. Gotcha. And it's very large selection of inventory. We do a drop every Sunday, of four or five hundred pairs every week. So it's definitely a lot of volume. That's big. Yeah. All right. So we didn't talk about soul steals. We talked about soul supremacy. Let's get on to your personal collection. What is some of the some of the gems that you brought today? Um, some of the gems. So I'll just start off. This is my favorite shoe of all time. Um, a one black cement three. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Still, still brand new. Think of uh. Collapse no, well. I don't think so. I honestly never had a problem with them crumbling. It's usually the back tab that cracks. Okay. Um, so this one I'll probably never wear because I'm I've like a OCD thing with ten and a half, and this is actually the first brand new ten and a half I've ever owned. Okay. So I probably will never wear it. So yeah, that's this one. So that's my favorite. Um, this one I actually just got today. I'm a big sample guy. Um, so I like getting really rare stuff. Um, this is actually a Red October, but this is really tiny as you can see. This is actually a sample size 6 that was made for uh, Kim Kardashian. Wow. Yeah, so this is literally base size. This is his base <laughs> That's size. That's base size. Yeah, sample tagged everything. So, and the quality is just way, way crazier on this one. It doesn't, no glue, no way, way nicer suede. Just the overall shape just looks a lot cleaner. So, so I actually just got this one. So what does it take to obtain samples or player exclusive stuff like that? Um, you really just, it's just knowing the right people. Like, I, um, I probably didn't get any crazy samples till probably like 2013, 2014. But now I just, I've been buying more and more and more and I've just become the guy that a lot of shops want to consign it, but I will just pay people out directly for it and I'll take the risk with it, which exactly. is pretty much not something a lot of people really don't do. And I'll pay good money for it because I don't need to make a lot of money off of it. I just want to get it flip it for a little bit more and then you can have it and I, that's why I sell it to a lot of resellers too got you but it's just it's just making connections over time that's like a underworld like a black yeah, market yeah it is there's a lot of stuff like some of the stuff like I can't show you like size tags box tags and stuff like that so yeah you gotta be careful with it too 
Okay. Um, this one, this is one of these shoes that at first when it, the pictures leaked, I really didn't care for it. But then I, I got them and I wore them and I was like, oh my God, this shoe is so filthy. This is the uh, Carhartt 4. Um, what does the E stand for on the back? Eminem. Eminem? Okay. So it's the Eminem 4. Then you uh, got the Jason mask on the back of that Yeah, one. exactly. Yeah, so it's just all the Carhartt material. They uh, did this one for his anniversary. It was just a collab with uh, him and Carhartt. And they auctioned off 10 pairs. They were going for like 25 racks. God. But uh, there's a lot more There's a lot more than 10 made. That's one of the things that people don't really realize. He got, like, a lot of friends and family got them. But, um, yeah, this is a brand new 10 and a half. I was uh, very happy to get this one. That, that 10 and a half OCD? Yeah, seriously. Um... This one right here, since it's my favorite shoe is 01 Black Cement 3, it was only right that uh, I get one of these two. Um, this is the Pit Crew 3. It's uh, really just made for the players, and then a uh, there's a group of fans called the Pit Crew, and they're given they gave out pairs to them, really, like randomly at games and stuff like that. That's what's up. So yeah, it's just pretty much a Black Cement 3. It's just got green stitching and then Oregon logos on the heel. Um, just. I mean, it's 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 a limited sample of Black Cement 3, so it was kind of something I just had to have. Uh, you can never go wrong with this. Yes, Oregon, yes. I think they got the best samples or really like best player exclusive Yeah, they do. Style. They get crazy shit. Yeah, I heard so. uh, Cal's supposed to be switching over to Under Yeah, they so just did. Suck. Yeah, uh, we, we'll get the same colorways from like Michigan and stuff like that, but yeah, it really sucked to not have something in our own backyard that we can get stuff from. Like Cal 2 lows and stuff like that. I know you plugged us with those. Uh, hey, so on average, how much you think he's going for? Um, this one will probably sell for around five thousand to forty-five hundred because it's a really rare size. Ten and a half is very hard to find in that shoe. So on average, how much have? What's the most you've ever paid for a shoe? Uh, most I've ever paid. Um, I mean, the the Carhartt I paid ten thousand for, but okay. then um. I don't know if you saw a while back, I actually uh, acquired the Kobe Bryant set, the 1 through 30, yeah. that Jordan gave to Kobe for his retirement present. That, I won't say the number for, but it was definitely a lot more than 10,000 okay. bucks. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was probably the, the craziest thing I've ever gotten for, uh, for dollar-wise. Got you, man. But, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this segment of Beyond Desktop. Thank you, Scott, for having me. Yep, no problem. And uh, we're going to catch y'all in the next one. <laughs>